we are the Matrixa. This is Jonathan. And this is the beautiful Shiva. <laughs> yeah. Hello, everybody. Uh, first, my English isn't the very best, but I hope you will understand us. And second, there are there have been many um, uh, emails, messages, messages uh, and they want us to <laughs> do our videos in English. And we will try, and we promise we will get better. Yeah, as Shiva said, there's been very much messages uh, in relation to translate our great videos <laughs> about the light trap and the three ways to get out of the matrix. Yeah. And so we have um, assumed that it is not bad to make a video in English language to reach the people out there who only know the English language. Are you an English lord? You speak like an <coughs> English lord. Oh yes. Yeah. I'm connecting to the English lord out of another <laughs> incarnation of myself. Yeah, the last incarnation. You have been an English lord and um, yeah, yeah. <laughs> yes, yes. <laughs> yes, my dear. So, uh, uh, I think we should start with uh, what is the light trap? Yeah. Yeah. The topic of this video is the light trap. Yeah, we already um, experienced the light trap, and so we, uh, yeah, we can talk about a little, a little talk about. Yes, um, in several occasions we have experienced the light trip and um, Chiva, you have seen the light trip yeah. in a special experience. Yeah. Um, has it been a dream? Yeah, so uh, I asked my higher self to give me a dream where what will happen when I die. So. Um, my higher self sent me into a dream uh, where I experienced the light and the portal out of the matrix. Um, I started directly seeing the light when I uh, wake up in the dream and um, it was a big bright light and it was shiny but it doesn't um, make me feel very cozy. It was more like Oh my god, it's a light trap. I have to go. <laughs> 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 and um, there have been also uh, angels or light beings and they want me to come into the light, but I, d I thought so. Oh no, thank you. All right. And uh, I was very, uh, um, I, f I felt in danger, so I thought how to get out of here, or how to get away from the light. And I, I ran and ran and I saw behind the light the trap, so a dark, dark tunnel, and I ran to the tunnel. And in that moment, uh, when they realized uh, that I don't want to go to the light trap, they uh, transformed, the light beings transformed. The angels transformed. They transformed into, um, into guardians, looking very Egyptian with with gold uh, clothes and uh, metal and uh, maybe we have a, f a picture of it so I can I uh, know I can't uh, um, <coughs> yeah but the the guardians were very big and strong and like two meters and uh, they seemed like Anu and Enki and this guys are. <laughs> there were a lot of them, like 20, 30 in a row, and a lot of uh, yeah, a lot of guardians and running after me, running, running, and in me, I looked after them and ran faster, faster into the tunnel. And after the tunnel, there was a room, a, a big dark room. It was very dark, but I can't, I, but uh, I could see. What uh, it was a room, but there wasn't any wall or something like that. It was a wallless room and a 
visible darkness like that. And in the edge of the room, there was a portal like that. And in my in my thought was uh, a voice that told me this this uh, portal is just for one for one person. <laughs> but uh, uh, besides the portal, there was a, was a girl. I think it was a soul. Uh, <laughs> uh, it was a part of my soul, another incarnation or something like that, and she wants to jump into it, but it was very, very afraid. Mm, but but you, I can't just go alone into the portal. Uh, but I want, uh, I don't want her to uh, stay because the guardians uh, w uh, have been directly behind me, so I take her, took her and jump into the portal and it was like a wormhole. It goes straight and <laughs> and I flow, we, fl uh, we float uh, through the portal uh, to the wormhole and she goes straight, straight through but uh, I think because it was just for one and not for me in this case because uh, I have some stuff to do on earth uh, uh, I was kicked out of the wormhole and um, uh, landed on a planet where have been an alien invas invasion in this moment. So <laughs> this is so yeah was my experience the one with the uh, with the light trap and we also have another one with the um, train station. Maybe we have the same. Yeah, we dream together, not together. Um. Not really. So we we have uh, it was a long, long time ago, ten years maybe. We he dreamt we d we didn't know each other uh, to, uh, to this time, and he dreamt of a train station and me too. And last year I dreamt of it again. And maybe you want to tell them what you have experienced <coughs> or what it is the train station. Yes, um, I have been in an alternative reality. And uh, in this reality, I died. And I died not really because I fell into a coma. And um, I have um, been in a hospital, lying in the coma. And uh, at the same time, I was dreaming that I die and uh, came to a kind of station, a train station maybe. And this train station have been very large. Like a big mall. Like a real big mall. And um, many people uh, have been there. And um, they seem to wait for something. After some hours, I understood that the train station is a kind of a waiting area for people who are in a coma and uh, because of that I have been also in a coma I have to wait there to hmm, wake up again or to wake up or to uh, say that I want to die and to leave my body forever and that's a decision I had to make um, to die or to get back into my body to in wake up again to in the alternative reality so yeah. not here <laughs> not here it was just uh, in the alternative reality and i was running around in this mall for days <laughs> really <laughs> i knew all the <laughs> shops there and all the um, spare time activities uh, that was going around there and uh, was um, running there and um, this um, mall was very interesting you have had everything there you could play there you could eat drink you could uh, walk um, you must imagine um, a real real big mall and in the middle of the mall 
there have been a kind of um, tunnel which was going up in the sky uh, several hundred meters high and you could um, enter this tunnel the area and then you felt no gravity I could fly up and down I could uh, float um, and could experience this uh, great uh, state and I was sure that the end of the tunnel at the um, ceiling over there um, that I could leave this train station if I just fly high enough and so I tried every day to come up up higher and higher um, in the hope to leave this area but I didn't get it <coughs> and after several days maybe it has been weeks um, I was exploring the surroundings of the mall and there have been six or eight bridges that led to the mall mm -hmm. it was like a star mm -hmm. around in your dream also mm -hmm. yes and um, I was exploring these bridges uh, they were very long several hundred meters or maybe kilometers miles I don't know I don't remember and I was walking there around um, every day in the hope to find another exit from this train station and then I suddenly discovered a, a black hole in the middle of one bridge mm -hmm. and I saw this hole and uh, walked there and was standing in front of the hole that goes deep endless endless into the depth and um, it was totally black pitch black <laughs> and um, I was thinking about to jump into this black hole because I thought maybe is this a hidden exit uh, out of this station and um, I was thinking about uh, I was a little bit afraid to jump into this hole and suddenly a man come uh, came came to me and uh, said to me oh I wouldn't jump into this black hole and I replied why and he said ah there was a teenager who was jumping into this black hole and never came back it is really dangerous to jump into this hole I wouldn't do this and um, for better understanding we have discovered that there are holes in the matrix black holes in the matrix and um, the upcoming um, awareness of the humankind um, produces black holes in the matrix like little black exits as a possibility to leave the matrix so because of the frequency is rising up so the consciousness is uh, also rising up and so the portals uh, correct go. that means in the moment when you die you see the light a giant beautiful warm light that attracts you it tells you come to me enter the light and um, if you come back to the light if you go back into the light your memories will be erased and you will, will be reincarnated in your next life without your memory in the previous life so you cannot remember your previous life as soon as you reincarnate in a new body in a new life 
on the physical plane. And uh, this is a circle, an always running circle for all people in this world, on earth. And this is the routine that runs here in the system. For thousands of years now. For thousands of years. You are here on earth, you live your life, and when you die you go back into the light and you get a new body and a new life and a new surrounding, uh, but with amnesia. That means you won't remember your previous life. And this circle runs for thousands of years, as Shiva says, and um, all the people that reincarnate ever and ever again to raise their consciousness, their awareness, it has produced these black holes in the matrix. But they are not easy to find because this warm, bright light is shining over all these black holes. And also the black holes make a lot of uh, fear because there's a frequency and on these portals so that you don't want to jump in there because uh, also in the train station where I also have been two times I didn't want to jump in this black endless hole because it seems to be to have um, a frequency of fear on it so oh no I want to jump in that yeah so uh, yeah that's also a problem to go out of the matrix because of on the f on the one hand the darkness uh, the religion to tell us go to the light and uh, the darkness is not good and um, on the on other hand there is uh, the frequency of fear over laid over the portal so it's uh, it's quite difficult with not enough uh, awareness to go into these portals so the most of you will go to the light because it's warm and loving and uh, not fear and dark and because of the old, um, uh, because of the old beliefs and uh, the old thoughts, you uh, that uh, you get in all your whole life through your parents and the church and something like that, you um, you're not aware enough to to overthink and uh, uh, let go the fear stuff and <laughs> uh, you know what I mean <laughs> yeah these black holes are really scary and then you are standing there in the middle of nowhere outside of your life died and then you stand there and you see this scary dark pitch black hole and on the other side, you see a wonderful, warming, loving light that attracts you. What is your choice? So, but, but this is a game. So we decide when we enter the matrix to play this game. It's a game of polarity. And we want to play this game. We decided for it. Nobody forces us to go into the matrix. Okay, it, it was a little trap because um, yeah, come into the matrix. It's uh, it's nice stuff for you souls, and souls are very uh, like uh, children. And yay, cool! And uh, <laughs> let's have fun there. And uh, so we go into the matrix. It was it was a free will to go into this, but now we are here, and we have to go life through life through life through life through life. So until we have enough in awareness to go out of the matrix but uh, until then uh, until it is uh, until then we have to go through the reincarnation cycle die light 
he die, uh, reincarnate, and so on, and again, and again, and again. Yeah, and this is, uh, but it's it's not bad. It's not uh, because we are here by our free will. Yeah, mm -hmm. and um, polarity is not bad, or the metric is not bad, but. When you have uh, lived for thousands of incarnations, you think, oh, okay, it's enough. <laughs> and yeah. then you can try to get out of the matrix. But this will be another video, maybe, I think, <laughs> with the uh, ways out of the matrix, because it will become long the video. And uh, because this is a light shot video, I think. Huh? Yeah, the matrix is <coughs> like a game, <coughs> like a computer game that you play. You sit in front of the s of your screen and you are playing the game and after playing the game when you die you lose your life within the game um, you say oh I want to play again and you get another life and you play it and after this you die again and you say ah next game please but at one time you say okay I played enough of this game. I want to leave the game. But this decision is not possible because you get amnesia. You forget that you already have played this game for a hundred or thousand times. And that's the cause why the people are playing this game ever and ever again. They cannot remember what play, uh, what games they already have played. And in the game Matrix, there are a lot of games that you can play. You can live in different countries, you can live uh, with different persons, with different uh, husbands and wives and children. Um, you can be a successful businessman, you can be a good lover, you can be a very good artist, you can be a great singer. You can play all your fantasies, you can be a bad guy or a good pop guy. <coughs> uh, can be a murder or a priest. <coughs> Whatever you like, you can play all these games and I can tell you, you already have played all these games, but you don't remember. And that's a problem. The people always want to play games that they have played often before. And um, the time to leave the matrix is now. Yeah, it is. It is. Because you have played all the games already. But the light trap is still running. And the circle of reincarnation is still working. And um, that's the cause why we are sitting here and try to speak in English. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, that's the cause. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, but to leave the light is not as easy as we as you think. <laughs> no, it's... it's uh, it's everything but easy um, because if you you need to become aware become so much aware that you um, <coughs> you can lose everything but it's okay for you like that um, it's uh, let go you have to let go everything everything not that you stand uh, at the end of the matrix and they tell you oh would you like to have a coffee oh yeah coffee again uh, out into the matrix back so you need to let go everything yes, and that's everything. not easy no. it's ver not that easy no what are you doing Be if you die and you stand in front of the light and you say oh oh this time it's better to take the black portal and then you see in the middle of the light your wife is standing there ah, or your no husband another trap yes oh, so standing there and say hey don't run away into this black hole. Come to me. Come I to love me. You. It's great here. I love you. What will you do? And that's a, a point what she was talking about. Um, that you have to let go. All the stuff you have built up in the matrix. The emotional stuff, the physical stuff, so yeah, everything you, you have yeah. can imagine. And that makes it very hard to take this choice to leave the matrix because what about your friends 
What and about your partners? They will appear in the light. The light beings or angels, uh, they will... It, it will not be your real wife waiting for you in the light. It will be a light being working for the matrix that uh, appears like your wife or your friends or your partner and uh, they, they tr transform because they can telepathically um, scan you and they exactly know what you want, what you love, what you are addicted to. So they transform to it and they will <laughs> teasing you uh, to come into the light and they are very, very good. Yeah, they can transform into any disguise to attract you, to come back into the light, to join the reincarnation circle further and further. So most of your uh, relatives who already died, your wife, partner, children, whatever, they have, I think so, the most of them have already been uh, reincarnated again, so in the light there will be None of them, but the uh, light beings or the guardians, like we call them. So, yeah, you have to let go everybody, everything. And yes. it's not easy. Yes, and the Matrix wants to be played. And all the beings that work for the Matrix um, also want that you play the game. And they will do everything that you by your own free decision to join the matrix again. And the only moment where you can make your decision is between is in the state after you have died and before you enter the light. This is the short moment in which you can make your decision. In and the case of dying, because of the, there are other ways to get out of the matrix, but when you're dying, this is your choice. Yeah, this is uh, the little time space you have to decide what you will do. And uh, yes, of course, it's not easy. And as you can see, the world is growing the um, the human race is getting bigger and bigger more people come to earth now we have seven billion people on earth and in 20 years there will be maybe eight or nine billion people you see many souls are coming to earth and they want to play the matrix. So to come back to the portals, the portals are in the grid of the matrix. The grid you can see in, uh, in higher state of minds. Uh, when you are uh, awake, the grid will appear like um, yellow golden and when you are in the astral body it will appear light blue. It's, uh, it's beautiful light blue and but when you try to go with your astral body to the grid and go through the holes it will make a big butt and you will be in your body back again so uh, it's like an electric um, fence and uh, with amnesia and it will kick you the astral body kick it back to the to your body so you can't go with your astral body to uh, through the portals to leave the matrix it's not possible because your astral body is um, connected to your physical body so uh, and your physical body, body is connected to this earth and planet so you can't leave like this <laughs> yeah that's uh, true Shiva um, you can see this uh, matrix grid it's like a electricity fans around the earth mm -hmm. and if you try to leave um, <laughs> uh, it's not easy because uh, this electric fence um, tries to avoid that someone leaves the matrix and the astral body um, belongs to your physical body and so you cannot disconnect 
um, you from yourself um, or from your physical body to leave the matrix the best way is to search in the grid for this black holes and if you see this black hole straight go in this direction and try to go into the black hole that is not easy because um, as we said uh, the religion is programming us darkness and light light is good darkness is bad god and evil and something like that <laughs> correct dark is hell and light is god and heaven and the guardians of the matrix have overlaid the black holes with fear so they will scare the shit out of you if you stand in front of this black hole and it's not like and it's not a fear like you are afraid of us uh, of uh, this physical area so it's not like oh someone will kill me that's yeah you are afraid of that but this is the fear it's mu even worse mu so m so much worse than this fear of being killed of somebody it's, it's like maybe we will make a, f uh, a video of this again uh, also <laughs> because it's a uh, yeah fear is a uh, is an interesting theme uh, theme but yeah this is not a fear uh, of spiders no it's uh, because you or maybe a tiger oh. uh, or maybe a murderer with a gun this fear is 100 times stronger and on a way you can't describe because uh, yeah you're, you are divided and there are s is another side and this fear is um, yeah, we will make another video <laughs> 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 because it's so much stuff and we have so much to tell but uh, now we have like uh, 30 minutes maybe we will make uh, further another time not to make the video too long for YouTube, so maybe some uh, important stuff for the light trap. Or do we have something more? Yeah, we have so much more, but um, ah, the light trap is um, is the invitation of the matrix. Yeah, that's true. that's really a commercial invitation. <laughs> it's advertisement. Advertisement. <laughs> <laughs> And uh, the matrix invites you to enter the matrix every time after you have died. And as soon as you have died, you will see the light. Don't go in the direction of the light, take the opposite direction. Or like me, in, in my case, it, the darkness was behind the light. So run to the darkness. Me, I was afraid of the light. I thought, oh God, no light, and go to the darkness. It was, uh, I was happy that I react like this, but if I am really dying, I don't know if I would go yes, to the yes. darkness, about, but go to the darkness. Yeah, to come to an end for this time, uh, yes, uh, be the light, but don't go into the light. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, this uh, that's, that's it. <laughs> yeah, that's the first English video. Sorry for this. <laughs> um, we hope um, that you like it um, nevertheless. And you understand us. And you can understand our German-English Mix. mixture. <laughs> <laughs> um, we are not used to speak English uh, all the time so. but it was important for us to tell you this maybe some of you already know but uh, there are many people who don't know and um, we would be glad if you can um, share our video with your English-speaking friends and uh, if, if we see 
that there are many people that view our English videos also, or maybe we make another English video. With our perfect English, yeah. With our perfect English, so that you have many to love. <laughs> And at the same time, you have uh, maybe some information that we could give to you that you didn't know. And um, yeah, we would be glad to um, about your comments maybe below in the description. And um <coughs> see you again in the next video. See you in the next video, maybe. <laughs> <laughs> Because there's uh, so much stuff to tell. Oh yeah, very much stuff. Yes, um, we have made a lot of experience out of body. We have made a lot of um, experiences in lucid dreaming. And higher states of mind. Higher states of consciousness, altered state of consciousness. Through dissociation, it's a very, very unique technique and. We will tell you more. Yeah. The technique of dissociation is the strongest technique we In know. In the world. Yeah, really. Uh, if you use it correctly. <laughs> mm -hmm. yeah, it's not easy. But the best way to experience such things and such knowledge by your own and one way to get out of the matrix yes, in this, this lifetime. This is just one way to get out of the matrix. There are altogether there are three ways to get out of the matrix. This is the first way. The new way, <laughs> I would say, this black holes in the grid are new, so to say, and uh, they exist um, not a long time yet and maybe um, you have heard of it maybe not but it's a very interesting and a very challenging way to leave the matrix for an unconscious mind yes yes for an unconscious mind or for someone who is not in the spiritual development um, as it should be <laughs> yeah <laughs> Ah, uh, we thank you for watching. Um, maybe you can tell us how bad it was. How <laughs> bad it was. <laughs> <laughs> uh. <laughs> Or if you should w uh, look for another way. <laughs> yeah, maybe you can translate our German videos or something like that. Mm -hmm. If our English is too bad. Yeah. Correct. That means. We have also a German video channel and for the German speaking people out there look at uh, our other videos, they are all in German um, that's a language we are familiar with <laughs> it's, our it's our native language and um, maybe we need 10 or 20 videos in English <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> to make better videos <laughs> Minimum. <laughs> no. <laughs> But uh, thank you for watching, and we are looking forward for your comments below in the description. Uh, maybe to next time. Bye bye. <laughs> bye bye.